What's going on guys, Greek Freak here and in this video we're going to be discussing whether the Warriors are the greatest team of all time. From this year we obviously know what happened. A 73 win team ended up picking up a former MVP in Kevin Durant. Now with that lots of people automatically assumed that this team was going to make the finals and must pops and be the favorite to winning the finals. They won in five games against the Cleveland Cavaliers and not only that but had blowouts for the first two games. Now in many ways this is not just a comparison as far as if they played in today's game or if they played back then. I'm going to do both and explain directly who would win and what. I'm not going to explain directly who I personally think is the greatest team of all time, but obviously all-time great teams such as the Showtime Lakers, the Bird Celtics, and 95 Bulls, Bad Boy Pistons, teams like that. Now, obviously, it's all different errors, and that's always the tough part about comparing teams like this. But here's why I will explain why Golden State is not the greatest team of all time. Even though they are very great assembled for today's game, and we'll do the first comparison as in teams playing in today's rules, the players more back then had more of a defensive mindset. Now they couldn't shoot threes nearly as good as teams today, which is why I don't believe if they played in today's game, all time great teams would still be able, such as the Showtime Lakers, the 95 Bulls, would be able to take them long stretches to beat them. But with that, it's still to me more difficult because the defense that they played back then was a more set on thing where not only that but Golden State has liabilities on the defensive end as Curry always cannot guard really another player as good as obviously Klay Thompson or Draymond Green or Kevin Durant but if they played back in the day and they played against all these all-time great teams Another problem that would occur would be obviously the physicality. We saw from game three through game five that it wasn't really just close. They weren't blowout games anymore, making it a lot more closer. And even though go, even though Cleveland was is not a bad team in the means of the imagination, they are not a great defensive team as they were 20th in the league in appointed points per game. Now the key point to it is playing defense. Now with physicality of a Detroit Bad Boy Pistons or the 95 Bulls or even other teams that didn't directly make it such as the Supersonics back with Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, teams like that would obviously have an advantage because of the physicality that the Warriors just would not be able to handle nearly as much. Now, with their three-point shooting, obviously we saw from the Cavs that with the right night, you can just outscore and go off, and there's nothing that you can really do to beat them in that fashion. But in a seven-game series, I don't believe the fact that the fashion that they could beat them. But guys, tell me what your guys' thoughts are. Tell me who you think you're the greatest team of all time is. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe to become part of the Greek Army today, and as always, this is Sparta!